Hello and welcome to Sassy Scrapbooking. In this video I am going to demonstrate how to do the cut and print from my previous videos using paint.net instead of my preferred Adobe Photoshop. Once you've downloaded and installed the paint.net software you're going to want to go to file and then open, find the image you're going to work with and double click it so it'll come up on your screen. Then you're going to want to go to the magic wand and click on the white space around your image and hit the delete button on your keyboard. That's going to make the white space go away and now you have a transparent background. Go ahead and click on that transparent background and then you want to go to edit and scroll down to you find an inverse select and now you're image is going to be highlighted. Then you're going to want to go to edit and copy and then file and new and it's going to bring up a box asking you the size of your background. I generally would want to make it the size of my image and in this case I made it 4.3 hit enter and it's given me a new a new background size then go to edit and paste and it brings up a box asking me if I want to um, alter my background size because my image is larger I select yes and my image now appears in an enlarged box I then go to my printer icon and it brings up another screen. Um, this is going to be a user defined paper size. So I'm going to go into options toward the bottom right of my screen and that's going to bring up some, another box. I'm going to check printer preferences and it's going to bring up information on my printer. Each printer is going to be slightly different. Uh, the paper size I'm going to choose is user defined and I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom to the, for the user defined. In this box I'm going to go ahead and set the user defined paper size. After testing I did notice that um, I have to go slightly larger than the 4 inches. I'm going to be using the Cricut Design Space so I put a 430 here. Enter to accept the changes. Um, enter to accept these changes here. Okay, so now I'm going to unclick the fit picture to frame because I don't want it to fit. I want it to use the image size that I put in. And go ahead and click print. Now we're going to go to the Cricut Design Space. We're going to insert the image. Um, I already have this image in um, and I've gone over this on a previous video. Select my image, bring it in. I'm going to go to edit and I want to adjust the height of my image to 4 inches. Okay, and once the image is set to 4 inches tall, I'm going to go ahead and click go. Make sure the image is placed where my paper is on the mat and go ahead and cut. Now that I have my image printed and my blackout cut up, I want to place the cutout piece directly over my image to make sure that it is a good fit. If the image is slightly larger, the printed image is slightly larger than the cutout, that's fine. I am now placing some repositionable tape on the back side of the cutout and then we're going to put it directly over the image again. Once we place it directly over the image, I want to go ahead and press down, make sure it's it's pressed down really well so that it doesn't come apart in the printer. I've had it do that. It's not a fun thing. So let's take care of that now. And we want to make sure it's centered as much as possible. In my printer, or using my printer, I have to put the image in upside down. Your printer could be slightly different. You're going to need to test that. Once you've placed it in the printer, you go back to the paint.net software and print. 
wonderful results. I want to take a moment and thank you for watching my video at Sassy Scrapbooking. Please subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos. I will continue to add new videos as my adventures with the Cricut Explorer continue. Bye for now.